Oh, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. This is a word. y'all welcome to another food for thought so today I'm just hanging out here in Detroit and thought I would check in with you on some things that are just going on in my mind as I've mentioned a few times I'm gonna be shifting the format a little bit and sharing a lot more of the engagement that I've been getting from the comments section with you so you're gonna get a little taste of that I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's been going on in the White House then I'm gonna talk a little bit about rioting in Detroit so this first little bit I'm gonna share is from Anna A. Anna A is talking about race Racism here. It's harmful to perpetuate the misuse of the word and it's offensive to victims of real racism. Not only that, but it's harmful to falsely accuse people of racism because it is defamation and slander. It seems clear to me that uh, Anna A is reinforcing this idea that to call someone a racist is more harmful than racism itself. Anna A also seems to be fixated on this idea of real racism, and I would like to know from either Anna or anyone else, you know, really, what does real racism look like in in 2017, either in the United States or anywhere else in the world. Chichikov, also talking about the discussion of racism, says, to engage meaningfully in the race debate, you would probably want to listen to Jesse Jackson and Kimberly Crenshaw, but also go to the other side and listen to Thomas Sowell and Walter E. Williams. Here's a late reply from Arash Narina, I guess that is the person's name, and um, responding to the Vegan Gains Worst of the Worst video that I made last, you know, way back in the winter, time. You're a guy in a first world country. You're not living in an Islamic country. You don't know shit. Shut the fuck up, Reg. You're a fucking retard. Go talk to motherfuckers who live here like me. Now, I appreciate that someone who's living in an Islamic country or a Muslim country or a predominantly Muslim country doesn't want to hear somebody from a Western country that's predominantly Christian talk about Islam. But what's interesting is that uh, Vegan Gains made a video about Islam that I was responding to, so it seems to me that that uh, message might be directed towards Vegan Gains and other people who are maybe a little bit more well-known than Vegan Gains who have been criticizing uh, the Islamic State. So someone else is fired from Donald Trump's White House. So right out of the gates, we saw acting Attorney General Sally Yates fired for not supporting Donald Trump's travel ban, and likely because she was trying to share information about ties to Russia. Then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was fired because of his ties to Russia and for lying to the Vice President. FBI Director James Comey gets fired because he told some one that Donald Trump was trying to pressure him into dropping the investigation of Flynn. Press Secretary Sean Spicer quits because Donald Trump hires a new communications director, Scaramucci. Then Scaramucci has something to do with the firing of Chief of Staff, Rens Priebus. And then 10 days after being hired, Scaramucci gets fired. They've got Steve Bannon in the doghouse, apparently for starting some shit with Jared Kushner, who is Trump's son-in-law. Got Jeff Sessions in the doghouse because he recused himself from the investigation into the ties to Russia. Has anyone seen Kellyanne Conway? You had Republicans jumping ship and voting against the repeal of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, AKA Obamacare. Suddenly the US is taking a hard stance against President Maduro of Venezuela, who's being called a dictator. You have the censoring of Russia leading to even greater strain between the world's two most mighty nuclear nations. So it really is a little bit like the sky is falling over the Trump White House. It's something that I think we should be keeping an eye on. So July 23rd, 2017 marked the 50th anniversary of what has been called the Detroit riots. Authorities on the matter and people here in Detroit tend to call it the Detroit Rebellion or the Detroit Uprising. Anyway, this major historical incident has been commemorated throughout the city really over the past year. I believe there was a public television special on the event. I came across a three-part podcast on rebellion 
Rebellion Detroit. And this weekend, a film about the Detroit Rebellion will be opening in theaters across the US. The film is directed by Catherine Bigelow, who is the director of the Academy Award winning film The Hurt Locker and also Zero Dark Thirty. Interestingly, the film focuses on the way that the state can be used as a weapon against certain individuals or groups. Something that's come up in a lot of my recent videos. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing the film and I will likely be doing a review on this channel. Man, I had a great time in my last live stream with a vegan called Quest guesting for pretty much the entire hour. It was a great time. Unfortunately, those You Now videos have not been posting to my YouTube. So starting next week, I'm gonna be trying some different technologies. I've been looking at Google Hangouts on on Air and a shareware engine called OBS. If you have any thoughts or preferences about ways to be able to do the live stream, have engagement with chats, still be able to guest people, please do let me know in the comments section. This was just a brief little video. If you have anything that you'd like to see covered as a topic on Food for Thought, please do leave your comments in the comments section. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Please